using his phony Facebook page to swindle women is under arrest tonight. Good evening, I'm Stephen Clark. And I'm Carolyn Clifford. Local women say the man tricked them with smooth talk and sexy photos he posted online in order to take their money. It was a story 7 Action News investigator Bill Proctor first told us about a while back. Bill is here with us now. The online Romeo is under arrest again. And Bill, why is David Kloss under arrest? Well, we most certainly heard from women in uh, Michigan. Uh, now a Toledo woman says that David Klotz bit her. Yes, bit her. And now that he's in jail waiting to face the charges, police investigators say they are hoping other women with claims against Klotz come forward. It's the photograph his past girlfriends wanted to see. 50-year-old David Klotz standing before a judge in Lucas County, Ohio court last week facing assault and other charges. After months of rocky romance with a Toledo woman, she says she finally had enough. According to the woman who doesn't want to be identified, Klotz ran up her credit cards and drained her savings after promising her, in this handwritten contract, a six-figure job in a company he said he owned. He wrote out the contract, and then I signed it. And what did he offer you? He offered me $1,000 a week and to make over $100,000 um, a year. A 7 Action News investigation exposed David Klotz last summer after he used these bodybuilder photos on Facebook to convince women that he was the right man for them. Not only did he tell them he was a rich business owner, he also claimed to be an FBI agent. So when were you with the FBI? I never said I was with the FBI. Get away from me. I'm warning you. It's the last chance. Last year, we tracked David Klotz to a homeless shelter in downtown Toledo. But these women say he also spent days, sometimes weeks, with them and many more women in Michigan. At first I thought I was the only victim, and we find out now that it's not the case. Told me he had just gotten mugged, um, they had taken everything, uh, had taken his phone and thrown it, but took his keys, his ID, his federal ID, he was claiming that he was a federal agent. Tell these girls that I don't want nothing to do with them, leave me alone. But Klotz apparently didn't want to be left alone. He went quickly back to the web looking for new dates using the name David DeLucci or Dominic DeLucci, which brings us back to the woman who says that she was assaulted. She tells us DeLucci was the name he used when he met her. She's the woman who told police Klotz bit her during a violent argument. He got in and he grabbed me from behind and he bit me in the middle of my back. I don't think he knows how to tell the truth. I think everything that comes out of his mouth is a lie. Detective Sergeant Tim Noble of the Toledo Police Department. We're pretty confident there's other victims in this area that for, for some reason or other, because of embarrassment, uh, they, they did not come forward. This guy's like a one-man crime wave. It was last year when we confronted Klotz. Back then, he agreed to sit for an interview where he apologized for conning so many women and promised to change his ways. Next time I'm on TV, if there is a next time, I want to be on for a good reason, not, not for hurting women. Well, that next time is now. David Klotz is accused of hurting another woman. He's expected to appear in court on assault charges tomorrow. We will be there to see if, as he has in the past, he tries to convince authorities that this latest incident was nothing more than a lovers, lover's quarrel gone bad and not necessarily a crime. But, Bill, this guy's been arrested before for violence against other women? Absolutely. At least in two states. We know that in those cases, the uh, ladies brought their complaints. Sometimes the police didn't follow up. The witnesses didn't show up in court. But he's managed to skate before. We'll watch and see if he can skate again. All right, Bill, thank you for the report. Man, the update.